So this is a huge issue, preventing discrimination in the workplace. In Hong Kong, what protections are in place? Uh, Hong Kong has a few um, anti-discrimination protections in place. The first one to be enacted was the Sex Discrimination Ordinance, and the purpose of that is to prevent against discrimination on the grounds of sex and pregnancy. Uh, following that was the Disability Discrimination Ordinance, which is to protect against uh, discrimination on the grounds of disability. Then there's Family Status, um, which is to protect against people who have uh, responsibility for caring, usually for children or adults. They were all enacted in about 1996-1997. Um, well after that, 12 years after that, Hong Kong passed the Race Discrimination Ordinance, uh, which is to protect against discrimination on the grounds of race and nationality. Uh, compared to other Western or more uh, other developed jurisdictions, um, the anti-discrimination protection in Hong Kong is, is regarded as being pretty inadequate. Why do you think that is? Um, many other jurisdictions, including our close neighbour um, Taiwan, have protection on the grounds of sexual orientation, religious belief, age, language, uh, and many other grounds, which are just not in place in Hong Kong. Is there an effort underway to try to change that? In 2014, the Equal Opportunities Commission, which is the government body um, charged with protecting AIDS discrimination, um, undertook a review, and during that review they took um, a wide range of um, uh, opinions from society, and they put together 70 proposals uh, for the government to change. How many have actually been? Eight of them have been put forward out to be 70. enacted. Out, and that's still, for, that was put in place in 2016, and three years later, the government is still considering passing just eight of them. What are the next steps? The EOC, uh, the Equal Opportunities Commission, is committed to trying to uh, promote further anti-discrimination protection with a particular focus on sexual orientation and religious belief. But unfortunately, there isn't a lot of government buy-in for this, and so I think it will be a long time in the future before we see that. What do you think it's going to take to get that is this issue higher up on the, on the agenda here in Hong Kong? I think because the government is so reluctant to push this forward, even though they make uh, noises in that direction, um, the real anti-discrimination protection comes from the High Court and the Court of Final Appeal, where a few decisions have taken place recently, and as a result of their decisions and the quite progressive and liberal view of the Court of Final Appeal, um, uh, rights and protections have been granted, such as dependency visas, uh, right to file joint tax, etc. So really these, these legal battles that can take years are, are the most I guess, effective way to bring about change? Uh, perversely, yes. A long legal battle is quicker than trying to go through the government. Mm -hmm.